and the Messiah must be a member of the tribe of Judah and a direct descendant of King David and King Solomon. Genealogy in the Bible is only passed down from father to son. There is no evidence that Jesus really had this pedigree. And the Christian Bible actually claims that he did not have a birth father from the tribe of Judah descending from David and Solomon. All of these criteria for the Messiah are found in numerous places in the Jewish Bible. One foundational example is in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, verses 24 through 28. And my servant David will be king over them, and they will all have one shepherd, and they will walk in my ordinances, and keep my statutes, and observe them, and they shall live on the land that I gave to Jacob my servant, in which your, father, in which your fathers have lived. And they shall live there, they, and their children, and their children's children, forever. And my servant David will be their prince forever. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them. It will be an everlasting covenant, which I will give them. And I will multiply them, and set my sanctuary in their midst forever. And my tabernacle shall be with them, and I will be their God, and they will be my people. And the nations will know that I am the Lord who sanctifies Israel, when my sanctuary is in their midst forever. Anyone can claim to be the Messiah. Or a group of people can claim that someone is the Messiah. However, if that person fails to fulfill all the criteria found in the Jewish Bible, he cannot be the Messiah. According to the Christian scriptures, Jesus seems to have understood this. As he was being crucified by the Romans, he cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? In order to deal with Jesus' failure to fulfill the biblical messianic prophecies, missionaries argue that he will accomplish them when he returns in the future. It is important to understand that this doctrine of a second coming is an admission that Jesus did not fulfill the messianic criteria. This rationalization for his failure certainly provides no reason for accepting him as the Messiah today. Furthermore, the Jewish Bible does not have a messianic installment plan where the Messiah comes, fails in his mission, and then returns thousands of years later to finally succeed. Missionaries will claim that because Jesus performed miracles, he must be the Messiah. However, we have no real evidence that Jesus actually performed any miracles. More significantly, even if Jesus did perform miracles, it would not prove he was the Messiah. Our Bible never says that we will be able to recognize the Messiah through the miracles that he will do. The Torah actually teaches that even false prophets can have the ability to perform supernatural miracles. As Jews, we prefer to wait for the real thing, according to God's promises and guidelines. The Jewish Bible provides a clear and consistent description of what the world would look like when the Messiah comes. And this clearly has not yet transpired. So, we still await the coming of the real Messiah. May he and a true utopian world come soon. To learn more about the Jewish Messiah, Oh, whoa. So how the philosophy fulfills is fulfilling. This is the key. Not just, it's not already just past event, it's an ongoing event. And this um, particular uh, video that we happen to come across, uh, Jews for Judaism, the six-minute counter-missionary crash course, is very interesting because it reflects many of the same points that many of us as Rastafari have made to um, uh, other black Christians and other Christian folks concerning the, the claims of Rastafari, concerning Haile Selassie, concerning Ethiopia, and concerning these end of the Gentile times. So we go over this part again from the sixth um, the sixth item, and that sixth item is concerning the fact that 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 um, the Messiah, and now Messiah, 
that, that's interesting right there because some folks think, like many Gentile Christians, they dismiss the fact that Messiah is, a, is a, an office, right? Messiah is an office. So it's not just saying when we say Christ is kingly character. Many think that we're speaking that Ahala Selassie is Jesus. No. Right? The Father is not the Son. The Son is not the Father. The Father is the Father. The Son is the Son. The Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit. The triune God is the triune God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is the God of Abraham, and Isaac, and Jacob. And the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is the God of Israel, of the true Israel. And I and I, the so-called Negroes, right? But the Hebrews, the Ethiopian Hebrews, are the once lost but now found Beta Israel in this Western in this Western diaspora. Our brothers and our sisters, we have them in the east, in the north, and in the south. Speaking of those who are of our racial nation, and then we have the righteous, that means the real um, messianic, the real Christian folk, right, who recognize that some of the prophecies have been fulfilled in the Son. But the way that they have been taught to look for Christ, in the words, in the whitewashed images, like over here, right, are all false. It's all part of the deception. And what we have to do is go to the straight and the narrow gate, right, and also to recognize Ethiopia's significance in Bible prophecy. Right? Ethiopia has a significant. When we say Ethiopian, saying Ethiopian is to say nigger or Negro. But of course, some Ethiopians, um, native Ethiopians um, from less than 400 years, Ethiopians will find this to be um, somewhat um, offensive. You know, we say that, well, Negro equals Ethiopian. It's all a part of having that knowledge. We may not like that they said that. But that's the fact of the matter. So we're dealing with the facts of the matter. Most folks will try to present, we're not trying to present this to you to make you believe. We're just saying, listen, these are the facts that we come across. At least check out these facts. Don't, don't just dismiss the fact out of some racial bias and then talk about how Jesus and God love everybody, but you don't want to see that you've been deceived just like the Bible says, which is the whole world has been deceived. We know that the whole world does not accept Haile Selassie as the king of kings. We know that. But during his times, as Timothy says, in his times he shall, he shall shoot, right? And believe it or not, like it or not, we are still in his times, right? And this is the capstone of this right here. Um, let's just go to Timothy for a moment in the New Testament. And I... And I, and I and I, and I say all of this because I'm looking at all of these prophecies, signs, and more signs which are going on, and I'm like, you know, checking out what different folks are saying and what's being believed and, and, and who's being deceived. And, and, and then, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing what folks are saying, and then I'm checking out the evidence. And this is why I presented even uh, Nita Fuentes' video, video concerning um, this pact or this covenant that has been um, recently made with, um, between the state of uh, Israel. Remember, it's the state of Israel. Mm -hmm. But it's the empire of Ethiopia. And one of his majesty's coronation titles upon the throne of David is King of Israel. Seventy-two nations bore witness. This is not a minor historical fact, but it's but it's another evidence that has been suppressed for over, for over 30, 40 years, has been slandered, has been lied against. So when we put this within Revelation and, and the saints, how the saints will be going through this time of great tribulation, this great tribulation is called Jacob's trouble. When we say Ya'ikob, we're not speaking of the Christian church, so to speak. We're speaking of, 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 of the people, black Israel, right? Black Israel that is still in a wandering lost state. This is why it says that he loveth the gates of Zion more than all 
right, the dwelling places of, of Jacob. Let's go to that scripture right here also, right? It says his, fo yeah, it says his foundation is in the holy mountain, Psalm 87, a song or mesmur, a song for the sons of Korah, of Korah. His foundation is in the holy mountains, right? As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, Ethiopia was protected, was sheltered, like that woman in Revelation, when it says that she's given two wings of a great eagle to fly into a place that was prepared for her. Remember Yeshua said, I prepared a place. His foundation is in the holy mountains. Yahweh loveth the gates of Zion. We're speaking now about Ethiopia, the African Zion, more than all the dwelling, the dwellings of Yaakov, more than all of these dwellings. So we have to come out of Babylon, right? We have to come out of Babylon. This, we're in a spiritual Egypt, right? Um, glorious things are spoken of thee. Just on that point about Jacob, right? About Jacob, black Jacob, black Jack. That's we get black Jack. That's we get the saying that you don't know Jack. You don't know Jack. You don't know that these black people, so-called Negroes, are Jacobs, Jacob seeds. That's what it means that you don't know Jack, right? The dwellings. We was in the south. Then we went to the north. Then some people went to Kansas. Some people went to California. We went all up. Some went to Canada. You understand? Some went to the Caribbean, you know? Um, but we will have no, you know, um, peace, right, in, 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 in a strange, right, in a strange, in a strange land. We have no peace in a strange land, in a land that is not our own. And that's, that's also part of that prophecy, that we're the only people who came over here or was brought over here. Let's not say came over here like we decided to come over here, right? But was brought over here according to prophetic design. Deuteronomy 28 and 68, we will come into Egypt by way of what? By way of ships. Mm -hmm. The slave ships, some of them even with Jesus on it, right? Um, and we know that it was not even Yeshua, but it was the Antichrist. Glorious things are spoken of thee, O city of God, Selah. I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon to them that know me. Behold, Philistia. Philistia, that's well, Palestine and Tyre, right? Tyre. That's 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 the, the what the what the Jews have out there, Tyre, with Ethiopia. Now they brought the Beta Israel into the equation. So prophecy is even more fulfilling. It, but it says this man was born there with what Ethiopia? Which man? Everyone, you know, they try to dismiss this because it's the most it's the most um glaring evidence right there. Well, who, who is this saying? This man was born there. They said, well, this is talking about different, but notice the key of this verse 4, Psalm 87, verse 4. I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon to them that know me. I mean, who was, who was pointing out Babylon long before? Not even a lot of um, Gentile uh, Christians are saying, you know, America really is it's shaping up to be Babylon. It just seems like it is Babylon because the evidence is just beating them over the head and probably because they are personally getting affected, adversely affected. And it's a shame that some only admit it, you, you know what I mean, when their back is against the wall. Verse 5 says, And of Zion, of Zion, it shall be said, This and that man was born in her, and the highest himself shall establish her. Yahweh shall count when he writeth up the people that this man was born there, Selah, as well as the singers, as the players on instruments shall be there. All my springs are in thee. I mean, listen to real reggae and roots music, Bob Marley and other reggae music. It's, it's more gospel, right, than the Pentecostal, right, when you check it out. I mean, it's more based on God's word, not a lot of soft, spongy nothingness but based on God's word. You know, the gospel was, was, was singing the good news. The words of God is the only good news, right, to be sung. And then we have in 1 Timothy chapter 6, right, 1 Tim Timothy chapter 6, it says, 6 it, says, it says, Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereto thou art also called, 
and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. Hala Selassie has professed a good profession among many witnesses. 